Hey, welcome back. So my name is Mark. I'm from Woodworker Source. So when you set out to build a project out of cherry, you're probably thinking that the color is going to be that nice sandstone or a nice copper color, or maybe even a deep red wine type of a color, right? Uh, but when you go pick out your boards, you're going to see them and they look like this, this kind of pasty pale pink color. And you might be thinking, what's going on here? Is this the bad board? Is this the right wood? What am I supposed to do with this? Okay, here's the deal. So wood changes color over time. So generally speaking, light woods get darker and dark woods get lighter. And this is especially true with cherry. So for example, this board's freshly planed and it's a it's this pale pink kind of a color. But with age, you get that nice rusty red that you're looking for. So, and here's how fast that can change. So I cut this piece, sanded it just last week. And then I covered up this half and left it on my back patio with just ambient light so you could see the effect, okay? And then check out these two boards I've had sitting in my garage like the last six or seven months. I cut these at the same time, sanded them and just stacked them and just left them sitting up there. You can easily tell which one was on top, right? Compare it to this. This board has been exposed for about eight weeks. There's hardly a difference there. So most of the color change happens pretty quickly. And then without a finish, I don't think this one's gonna darken much more at all. Hey, and I should make the point here that you don't need to be too extreme about giving your cherry boards a whole lot of light. Like you don't need to put them up on the roof or anything like that. All they need is just some ambient light. And in fact, if you put out direct sun, you really risk bleaching out the wood a little bit. So I wouldn't do that. All it needs is just ambient light. Okay, so what does this mean to you when you want that nice red copper color in your projects? How do you pick the right boards? Which finish should you choose? Well, basically it all comes down to understanding that some cherry boards are gonna be light, some are gonna be dark, some are gonna be in the middle of that, but eventually they'll all be dark and you just gotta accept that. But let's start with how to pick the right boards. So when you're looking at the pile of wood, you're probably gonna to wanna to reject these light ones but favor the dark ones. And that's because the darker ones look better, don't they? And I totally agree with you, but I hate to tell you this, you're probably in for a shocker once you start working with those boards, those darker boards. Like, let's go back to this one. It's aged seven months, right? Once you start working it, cutting it, sanding it, Yeah, there. I just removed seven months of color like that. So when it comes to picking out your lumber, look for the boards with the grain that speaks to you or the sizes that work for your project or maybe where the sapwood is located on the boards. I wouldn't worry so much about the different shades of hardwood. I know it seems backwards, but it's all gonna work out. Now I should point out that cherry has got pale sapwood in it, okay? If you don't know what I'm talking about, take a look at this double live edge slab. Sapwood is just the outer ring of a log, and in cherry, it's just this really pale color. So in comparison to the dark heartwood that's gonna darken up over time, sapwood's not gonna change at all, and it's gonna produce a really stark contrast over time. So if you don't like that idea, you just gotta figure out a way how to either hide sapwood or just remove it from the boards when you're building your project. So once you build your project, right, you might be thinking, gee, what do I do now? Do I finish it right away, or should I wait and let the wood age and then finish it? But I say, just finish it right away. I don't think there's any point in waiting, okay? So first of all, if you sand it and then you wait seven months, I think the grain's gonna raise up a little bit on you, then you're back to square one again. You're gonna need to sand it again anyway. And otherwise, if you wait to sand it, well, you saw what happened with this board, right? You remove the color. So I say, don't overthink it. Just build your project, apply your finish, move on in life, and just let the color age naturally. All right, so now you're ready to finish your project. Now, which finish should you choose? to control the color.
Now conventional logic says probably that this panel that we finished with the oil would come out about the darkest, but take a look, they really don't look that different, right? So we're gonna check back on these in a couple months just to see how the color's doing. But the moral of the story to me here is just choose the finish that makes the most sense for your project based on the protection you need and the way that you like to apply it. Because I just don't really think that you're gonna outsmart mother nature here on this one. Cherry is gonna do what Cherry does. Now another type of finish we didn't talk about yet are water-based finishes, okay? So here's another test we're doing to compare de-wax shellac against tongue oil varnish with a water-based finish. So you can see right away that a water-based finish just doesn't darken up cherry like the others do, right? But what's gonna happen is that the cherry is still gonna darken under that water-based finish. It's just gonna do it a lot slower than the others. So if you're into water-based finishes, just know that's what's gonna happen. It'll darken, it's just gonna go slower. And then let's say you're building a cutting board, right? What you're gonna do is just build your cutting board. You're gonna finish it with just a regular cutting board of oil. It's gonna come out as dark as about as those first finishes did, and it will still darken up over time. So yeah, this took us maybe three, four weeks to assemble and edit down, but that also gave this board some time to really darken up. So compare this to the way it looked just three weeks ago when I first applied that oil. You can see a huge difference now, can't you? That's the secret to Cherry's color, it's just time. Plus the wood, it's such a joy to cut and to shape and build a beautiful project with. So when you apply your finish, you just kick back. And you just watch that gorgeous color just get better with time. Anyway, my name is Mark. I'm from Woodworker Source. We sell woods like this to people like you. We'll ship it right to your door if you want to. So come give us a visit. We would love to see you. So thanks for watching.